Let's go ahead and see what Jock Landale had to say. New Spur coming in from Australia. Um, you know, like he's probably one of the fan favorites already, I believe, and he hasn't even played a game, right? So um, let's let's see what he had to say. I'm very excited about Jock being part of the team as well. Um, so let's see what he had to say. Jock, um, when speaking on, uh, he, he spoke on, first off, um, in the interview, like I said, there's a lot of great stuff in these interviews. Uh, he was talking, he took a moment in the beginning of the interview to talk about Patty Mills. And, you know, because obviously, you know, that they played together on the Australia national team. Um, and he's really tight with Patty, right? Which is great to hear for us, you know, because they like they're, they're cool. They're homies, you know, like we, we like that type of uh, personality on our squad. And I think Jock's going to, going to bring a lot of that to the table. A lot of that grit, a lot of that um, toughness that Patty Mills brought to the table. Um, but he spoke a lot about Patty Mills and, and how he's helped him, you know, in, in this transition uh, coming over to the NBA and coming over to the Spurs, which is very nice to hear. Um, and he talk, also talked about pop, right. And talking about how he's had a great time learning under pop. Right. So let's go ahead and, and kind of dive into what he was, uh, what he had to say about competing with um, the bigs in this in this training camp, which is Drew Eubanks and and Yaka Pertle. That was very interesting to me, so I pulled that out here for us to talk about here today. Which was uh, he went on to say, ja uh, Jakob and Drew honestly are awesome players to be around. There is this sense of competitiveness and trying to make each other better, but it's nothing personal. Uh, we are all mates here, right? Using that Aussie mates, I love that. Um, which speaks to the organization that they recruit good people first. Right. And that's, that's something that that's important uh, for a few reasons, right. Before we move on and, and continue reading what he had to say. Um, there's from what I'm understanding this, like uh kind of like little subgroup happening, like, like within training camp amongst the bigs. And I feel like the bigs are, are really uniting. And that's good to hear because like I said before, when you had LaMarcus, here i mean no 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 offense to lamarcus aldridge like or you know i mean he did what he did when he was here but there was that kind of vibe you didn't doesn't matter how good Jakob was he wasn't going to eat into aldridge's minutes because you had to keep aldridge happy and all that type of stuff well to me what i hear out of jock here is that there's this competitive spirit there in training camp amongst the bigs um, and, and to me, that means one thing, if, if you don't know what that means, if you've never been a part, um, of a, of a team, um, I'm telling you from experience, right. I've coached for seven years at the high school level. So, you know, I, I, my, my knowledge of the game and, and the season and team building and, and how that kind of shapes throughout a season. Um, I can, t t I can talk from my own experience and I can tell you that when, when I read this, I think of. It's physical. The word physical comes to mind when he says that, that there's a high competitiveness. Um, but like no one's trying to get the better of each other. I mean, there's no like chippiness going on. It means that there's more encouraging and pushing each other, but being physical and competing and really pushing each other. Cause he had, he had a lot to say about these two guys, um, which is, which is great to hear. We talk about character all the time and how important it is for the San Antonio Spurs organization right? Character's huge. We don't draft knuckleheads. We try not to bring in knuckleheads. Um, but you know, so, so it seems like from Thaddeus Young to Al Farouk Aminu to, to Jock Landale, right? Three new guys in the gym right now. Um, they're all saying the same thing about our young core and that's that, that they're good people and that, uh, there's no egos, you know, there's no egos around here. So Drew, uh, he went on to say that Drew and Jakob are consistently in my ear trying to help me out and get me comfortable with the new rules. Um, it's great to have them around because we're trying to get better as a team instead of beating each other out, right? So to me, um, it, it sounds like like Jock is one hell of a teammate right off the bat. That's that's one of the that's one of the vibes that I get early on on Jock is that he is one hell of a teammate and uh, he doesn't mind going to work and competing for what he, what he earns. Right. And I think that's what he's saying here. He's like, um, you know, the competition level is up, but we're all pushing each other forward, you know, and I'm not so sure if that was the case before. I can only speculate, but I would say it was less like this before, um, you know, the season. Right. So he went on to say that their game speaks for themselves. Jakob is a phenomenal defender and Drew is a bully. Right. Playing against them every day is a pleasure. I love that, too, because if you're a competitor, I mean, I played basketball. Right. I was a player. I, I have a player's perspective and I have a coaching pers a perspective and competition 
when when you're being able to push each other in this like um, positive environment of 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 pushing each other for the spirit of like getting better and there's no like egos because egos can really really you know cancer a, a team and a locker room and a practice and all that stuff so when you start getting rid of all that stuff which it seems like there's none of that um amongst the bigs right um it's a pleasure i love i love reading that that it's a pleasure to uh playing against them every day is a pleasure and they are great leaders and deserve everything that they get right so you know he they were asking him about his role this season he kind of he kind of shut that down. He's like, I can't speak on my role right now. You know, I can't speak on my role, but, um, you know, this is, this is what, uh, this is what's going on. They're battling and they're having fun. They're pushing each other as, as a, as a group, as a unit, right. As a big man unit. All right. So that's, that's what I'm, I'm loving to hear that guys. I'm, I'm loving to hear that out of, uh, out of training camp.